level. You have some that are below average, some that are average, and some that are slightly above average. And I think for a player that is slightly above average, should be able to get a national call up to try their luck if they can measure up to the foreign counterpart. And I think some of them are gradually showing that stuff. But free kick from a dangerous position to Benin Republic. Free kick coming to Benin Republic. Just a few meters to the penalty box of Nigeria. There's number 10 man, Fasasi Jama. Fasasi Jama takes an east winger and Basi Akman, goalkeeper for Nigeria, to the rescue again. I, I think that that was not strong enough. It's not that kind of, kind of free kick that will beat any goalkeeper at the national level. Nigeria converts defense into attack at the midfield. Uh, number 14 man, Ike Tangot. And uh, another move uh, blocks there by the Republic and Akban Basi takes it all over again and throws out. Nadra gradually builds from uh, Suzu Antenna from the, number two man. They move and uh, Alaten again and uh, that will have been no gold award for Nigeria. That I think I think that was a good response from the attacker. He likes to the ball very well, but couldn't find his target. Goalkeeper on his part too responded well because. Guys, Bella and Salami was go banned, but the response of the goalkeeper saved the situation. I think with more and more of this prayer, Nigeria definitely will get a goal before the end of this half. Look at that again, and, then, and look at the goalkeeper putting his palm to it, and the player that was coming. Better part of it, first time shot, and no, everybody thought it was going to the net, but slightly missed his target, and Bene can hit a sigh of relief. Quick movement by Nigerian attackers and quick response from the Benin Republic goalkeeper. And then you see Nigerians move again. And uh, he tries, he plays out. Uh, oh, that move has been wasted. Well, well, what a selfish play, you see. Another player marking the second pole. All he needs to do is to square the ball for the player, but decide to be skillful. The first touch was good, beating goalkeeper to it. But the second one that would have put the ball into the net, let him down. And Bene again saying, thank God we survived another onslaught. Well, I think the, uh, the Nigerian uh, attackers are not really getting uh, their the acts the, together. The, the expression on their faces show that this is not what they bargained for. In this point, to want to win this match, they really have to you know, live up to billing by making sure that uh, uh, they have enough cohesion in the attack. Because so far, We've seen a lack of understanding as far as the attackers. The player down on the side of the Super Eagles. Are concerned. And somebody is down on the pitch there, and the members of the medical personnel are Russian. And the Adrian player is down there on the pitch. I think uh, the, the, the state of the pitch is also affecting the standard of play. If we look at some of the players, the way they are responding about the sport, they fit very, very hard. The weather quite around 35 degrees centigrade, and you know what that means. Well, I think if, if uh, the Spikers really have to make any headway in this tournament, in this match, especially the first match, um, there should be absolute understanding between the midfielder and the attackers. But so far, the attackers are not really getting a little bit of I think they need to score in this game. This is a match that you must win. If you don't win your first match, then your second and third match might be difficult. But winning your first match, will give you a lot of confidence into the game, the, the, the next game. 32 minutes into this encounter, Nigeria Super Eagles team B taking on the squares of the Republic. And uh, right here are the MKO Abiola International Stadium, Abe Okuja. And behind you there you can hear the members of the Nigeria Super Eagles Club blowing their trumpet blaring their trumpet, giving their support to the Darlington, the Spikers of Nigeria. And then we have throwing coming to the Republic. It's been taken. And the Benin Republic uh, converts a uh, defense into attack there. Our offside positional play against that player. And I think it's going to be a throwing, really. And that has been taken by Adigoki. Ike thank God uh, sends uh, one to Suzu Antena. And the gradual builds from the rear into attack. The Super Eagles uh, moves uh, gradually. They move again. 
they move again and uh, oh the, the, the player was trying to be clever but the pass couldn't get to salami i think the quality of a good pass they say is timing speed accuracy it was good but the accuracy was not in that pass so you say it's not a good pass and then the republic survived another if there, if there is anything the spike was really need right now in the attack it is accuracy because they need accuracy to make sure that they, they put the ball behind the net but so far we can't see all of that coming because uh, in football you really have to take your chances when you have them otherwise you pay dearly for them or for it rather yes definitely you pay dearly for it they have everything to go ahead in this game they are not taking the opportunity the game can just turn around the burning ones will score a goal and they will lock it around and the eagles will not be able to do anything Throwing coming to the Spikers of Nigeria, number from the right flank there. And they build again, they move, they build, they move into the a pass, and the defense of the Republic thwarting that move, you know, thwarting that effort by the Spikers of Nigeria. I, I said it that the thing the Beninois are enjoying in their defense is the depth. The depth, and you saw that again. Even the player had every opportunity to square the ball across. But one, two, three players from the Benoit team were there at the right time and they were able to tidy it up. Well, friend, I think in this match, if we have to give credit to anybody, it has to be the defense of the Republic. Because so far in the last 10 minutes, they've been able to throw up to four moves by the Super Eagles. And one must also give kudos to goalkeeper Ala Ludovic Carlos of the Republic, who has absolutely lived up to billing in this encounter. Well, definitely, the goalkeeper has been fantastic on the side of the Benoit side. Is one reason why the Beninois are enjoying the situation. They're talking about the score line so far, so good here. But that is part of it. They say goalkeeper is as good as his defense. That means he's part of the defense of the Beninois and his school. Well, the Republic are really doing so well in this encounter, in this match. And uh, the Super Goose uh, move, uh, they move again. And uh, oh, that move, uh, begging for connection has been wasted again. All the ball was begging for was just a contact, which was not coming. And this swing up by the Super Eagles players, um, number three man, uh, Mutu Adegogo squares into that. Ah, and and uh, he, 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 he was trying to be clever. If the goalkeeper was off his map, trying to chip the ball above the goalkeeper, I think the, the spectators love that particular move from Adegogo. Beautiful display by the members of the Super Eagles in the last five minutes. And uh, what they really need is uh, to really actualize all their moves to make sure that they convert all of those moves into goals. Otherwise, um, it, will be, it will be a different story entirely. Let, let, less than 10 minutes for them to do whatever they want to do in this first half. And let's hope they will be able to score a goal at least. Ike, thank God, putting out that move with the Republic and throwing coming to Republic of Benin as we approach the 38 minutes of this encounter. Still goalless, Nigeria nil, Benin Republic nil. At the MCO Abiola Stadium, the first Wafu Nations Cup coming to you live from Afghan Independent Television, AIT, right here at MKO Abiola Stadium. Yeah, I ever saw something wrong with that. It's going to be a free kick in favor of Mutu Adegoke. I think it was actually obstructed by that player and it, 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 the free kick taken. Well, this afternoon, I think um, the, 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 capacity, the crack capacity here uh, is not too encouraging. It's not too encouraging. Uh, well, behind, are they behind us there, the cover stand is full. It takes a shot, a, a weak shot at that, by uh, Nigeria's number 10 man, Ahmed Musa. Well, well, well if, you, if you ask me, I would say the, the spectator to turn out so at this stadium is quite encouraging. Looking at the tournament itself, it's a regional tournament, and looking at the level of publicity before the game, and looking at the standard of the team, talking about Bene and Nigeria to be. So, I think it's, it's quite encouraging, and with the way the Eagles are playing, more fans will like to come to the stadium to watch them when they are going to play. All right, sir, we hope we have, we're going to have more fans at the stadium when they are going to pay, play, and uh, we hope uh, beautiful move there by the Republic, punctured by number 14 man for Nigeria there, Ruben Gabriel. Ruben Gabriel sending that one to touch for throwing coming to Benin Republic. Throwing coming to Benin Republic. 
as we approach the 40 minutes of this encounter? Well, it, it, it's so far so good. The 40 minutes leap to the billing, I must tell you. It has been a highly entertaining game. Uh, and the Beninoas, they are telling us that their football is growing and they are coming up Nigeria, but they have more corner kicks than Nigeria. I think they are playing their fifth one when Nigeria only play three. And then make a new swinger there and uh, Gokiba Akpan. Gokiba Akpan to the rescue for Nigeria again. Well, I think the sport really have to watch it, especially from the left side of the, of the defense. The Republic not really giving in at all. They are really holding on to the Super Eagles, ball for ball, movement for movement, attack for attack, defense for defense in this go, encounter. Go, 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 go defensive work again. That was a brilliant defensive work from Tena. Suzman Tena there throws uh, to, for Nigeria to Ruben Gabriel. And uh, the change position to Adegoke Mushiu. A referee, referee blows his whistle. Advantage to Super Eagles of Nigeria. Captain is going to take it. Solomon Opako sends a long one to Bola Salami. He tries to dance his way into the box. He sends a, a pass, but uh, the move uh, punctured. But Super Eagles are still on the ball. Mutu Adegoki. And he's been dispossessed of the ball by the defense of the Benin Republic. And the referee blows. Uh, are they okay from his left back joining the attack there? And the coach of the team, uh, Makashi, telling him all you need to do there is scrape out the ball and let the attacker do something. A player is down on the pitch. A Benin Republic player is down on the pitch. I think, I, I think the weather itself is the one reason why a lot of them have to sleep to be attended to. And I think more of them have been stretched out because the weather is very hot. But by the time they come back in the second half, the, 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 the weather will be clement enough for us to see better action from the players. Well, uh, uh, for, for the two sides, we're not really seeing uh, uh, shots on target. You know, so many shots on target in this encounter. But, but, but we saw from the, the Eagles, the one that had to the goalkeeper that the goalkeeper had to drop, and that one that the player latched onto that I couldn't find the net. The Nigerian team are really making an attempt to get the goal, but they are yet to put the ball behind the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper Ala Ludovic Carlos sends one into the Spikers area. The referee blows there, and uh, what is he calling for? A free kick against Nigeria. A free kick coming to the Republic. A free kick again coming to the Republic. A free kick coming to the Republic. And for the second minute of this encounter, the Spikers of Nigeria nil, Ben Republic nil, and number eight man Kasa Kofi Amonim. The handy ball to take the, the free kick of Ben Republic. Hans Akimbo, he moves it, it sends a long one into Spikers area, and that ball has been wasted. Well, I think there, there, there is no intelligence behind that particular free kick, and Nigeria, through Tana, wants to build up again. The Super Eagles of Nigeria gradually builds again from the rear and uh, again and again and again their move has been punctured and ball advantage by the Republic. Ah. Okay. Ah. thank God and uh, Muchi okay. Solomon Okbako. Move again. And along with to They move number 16 back for six. Two by Gus, Bala Salami move. Gradually moves. It takes a, a wasted effort. Wasted effort by number 16 man for Nigeria. Well, I, I, I wonder why coiling that ball. I thought that man was going for a cannon, but decided to coil the ball and he wasted that beautiful build up by the Eagles. Members of the Nigerian Supporters Club blowing their trumpets, blowing their trumpets, blowing their saxophones, drumming away and supporting their, their squad, the Super Eagles, all praying that uh, 
One goal should go behind the net against their opponent this afternoon. But so far, so good. It's been a ding dong affair, and there are no goals on either side. Many efforts wasted, especially on the side of the Super Eagles of Nigeria. And they build broadly from the rear again, number five man. Promise Onu moves, he sends one to Suzwan Tena. And then move again, punctured. And throwing coming to Benin Republic. When, when, when the Super Eagles of Nigeria and Benin Republic met, it was in Angola, the last time they met, and it took only Ayegbeni's uh, 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 penalty to separate the two sides. And here today, the Beninuans are telling us that they are no longer minors when it comes to African football. They have come, they've come of age, and they are giving the Super Eagles of Nigeria a run for their money. And I hope the Eagles will be able to do justice to this game because they have what I call control of the game. All right, uh, another effort there by the Super Eagles as we approach the dying minute of the first half of this encounter. It's still Super Eagles of Nigeria nil, the Republic nil. The dying minute of the first half and throwing coming to the Nigerian Super Eagles right in the territory of the Benin Republic. And there you see the bench of the Benin Republic, their coach there, the Frenchman, Felix Allen. Alan Ludovic Carlos, the man who has been tested in this encounter and who has equally lived up to billing, punctuating all the moves and puncturing all the moves of the attackers of the Super Eagles in this encounter. Well, we're at Chibugo, I think, for the five minutes of action. And for me, we are into the injury time. I hope the, the Super Eagles can do something to justify their impact in this particular half. Probably they can get a goal. All right, anybody from now, the referee will signal the end of this encounter or the first match of the first half, beg your pardon. And uh, throw in coming to the Republic. The referee will blow his whistle anywhere from now. The dying minute of the fourth, Nigeria versus the Republic. The Wafu Nations Cup tournament coming up right here at the MK Abiola International Stadium, Abia Kuta. And that's at the end of the first 45 minutes. A goalless affair. Nigeria nil, the Republic nil. Premier Mushon. Well, well if, you tell, if you ask me, Chibuzo, it has been a fair game from the. the the Super Eagles. This is an improved side from what we saw against the J and I hope they will be able to come back in the second half smoking to do something. Chibuza. Right, I will hand you over to uh, Paul Ahagbebe, uh, who will be talking to you Emma, from now. But Thank you very much, uh, Chibuzo Odua. We have come to the. I'm talking about Kashima Laluko. Kochi, it's a pleasure having you with me. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yes, sir. Um, talking about uh, development, you are a grassroots man. Over time, I mean, countless efforts have been made by you to ensure that uh, football thrives at all levels. Uh, what do you? What is your impression about this West African uh, football unions? Nations Cup. It's a very good idea for development in West Africa. And I think uh, the whole exercise has been moribund for some time until Dr. Adamu became, uh, became the president and he starts to revive everything now and we, we are ready to support him. And it is gratifying that he brought the first edition of uh, Idama Cup to uh, uh, the senior national team to Abekuta. And His Excellency, the, the governor of the state, have given very good support. I can see that we are also putting our best. I'm general coordinator for this program, and uh, I'm quite uh, uh, satisfied with what we have done. We need to do more of this to be able to give Wafu a little credibility. So, uh, so sir, um, as an, you know, an experienced coach uh, and a man who really has been in the NFF, do you really think so far the preparation of these boys and other aspects of our you know, uh, development 
is right on course. You know, unlike in your days, we it wasn't as, as you know difficult as it were. You know, like we're seeing now. Yes. Um, the NFP, the NFA has to decide what they want. There's the difference between promotion and development. At the moment, we play the competitions to promote football. NFA has to concentrate more on development and ensure that there's a steady growth of youth to each of the national teams. Not that when we have an international match, we just go and get a collection of players, give uh, fictitious academies, and say they, are, they belong to that play. We're not helping ourselves. Not, we need to begin to... The phone is still on. I have another uh, gentleman, an official of the, the West African Football Union, who really have been contributing as well to the rejuvenation process. Uh, you're welcome, sir. What is the name again? My name is Anjori. Yes. yes. Uh, Anjori, you are seeing, you know, the new face of Wafu. Uh, precisely, what do you have to say concerning this new arrangement? No, first of all, on behalf of uh, Wafu, I have to thank, first of all, Dr. Emo Sadamu to accept to lead the new generation of Wafu. And secondly, I thank uh, the Nigeria, the country of Nigeria, yeah. and thirdly, I thank Ogun State to host this tournament. Because you know this is the only way we must grow and to let football develop in our region. Also, you know, Nigeria is a big country, and Nigeria is supposed to be a leader to contribute to let the remaining country to back grand dream. That's why so we thank, we are happy to be here, and we hope success for this tournament. So, what's the spirit of uh, you know this game now? That is the, the awareness, the interest across the uh, West African uh, sub-region, in Ghana, in Benin, and so on. No, this tournament is to build up the talent, is to, to create an, uh, uh, an opportunity to, to let the talent have their own zone to play, so they can have also their own way to be, dis to be discovered by the uh, people who are coming to carry players, you know? Because when we, uh, we regard for the... This is in uh, sports, of course, in Ogun State. I have with me the Commissioner for Sports, um, Bukola Olokwade. Honorable, it's, it's nice having you. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, viewers. And uh, you are scoring another first, if I may say. After the um, the FIFA Under 20 World Cup, now Ogun State is hosting. Attack. This is a play by Tena, Susan Tena, concerning that move there, and now build from the left side all the. Of the defense, they move gradually. They move. Uh, Mutu Adegoke sends that one out. I, I think that that was Bola on Salami. Somebody stretched out there, a player from the Republic. He's been uh, stretched out of the pitch. I, I think that was why Ogola and Salami kicked the ball out of the pitch for a fair play. And the Benenoas are going to take the throw in. And the fair play given to the Super Eagles who the opportunity to take a throw. And that's number nine man, Benin Republic, on the pitch there, Kochosi Christian. And uh, that will have been a goal by the Super Eagles, but this goalkeeper again, this goalkeeper again, Allah Ludovic Carlos, stretching himself and rescuing his team. And that would have been the first goal for the Super Eagles. Bola, Bola and Salami was very close to it, but the goalkeeper expanded very well and demonstrating the captainship. He is a worthy captain indeed. Well, behind us there, members of the Nigerian Supporters Club, playing their trumpets, playing away their drums, blowing the saxophones, and all chorusing that we want a goal for the Super Eagles. Singing and putting their chanting, putting their support for the Super Eagles of Nigeria. As we approach the third minute of this second half, still goalless on either side. And there you see that move by Nigeria through number 10 man, Ahmed Musa, 
crosses, but uh, the German salami Golaho couldn't cover that one. As uh, Alan Lodge Goki Carlos, talking about former Republic, holds that one. The Republic views from the right flank, from the right back. And that one throwing coming to the Super Eagles. Throwing coming to the Super Eagles. Almost four minutes. Four minutes into the first half. And Moti Adegoke was brought down there. The referee telling him to take the ball back to the right position. And the free kick taken by the Super Eagles who are building up right at the center of the field. 15 man uh, Solomon Kwako initiating moves there to the left hand where we have uh, Golaho Salami. But uh, that man has been brought down again by the defense of Benin Republic. And let's see what the referee is going to do there. What is the referee going to do there? Uh, I think the referee is there. To see if that man is seriously injured. And uh, you can see he has called on the medics to come to the field of play. Bola Hosalami is right there he's on the pitch. He's down on the pitch. And he was brought down by Natabi Tido. Natabi Tido of the Republic brought him down. <coughs> and the members of the Red Cross are coming to, to give a first aid. Well, I think the defense of the Republic have uh, really they've been playing so hard, so tough uh, since the beginning of this encounter. I, I think that player's leg was so high and he hurt Salami there. And the Benin Rams are having goal kick this time around. Goal kick coming to Benin Republic. Goal kick coming to Benin Republic. Six minutes of play at the first half of this encounter right here at the MKO Abiola Stadium. The Super Eagles of Nigeria nil, the Republic nil. And the first Wafu Nations Cup. Ala Ludovic Carlos, who have been doing some excellent goalkeeping here. Referee Wessels goes and it's going to be throwing for the squirrels. Number eight man for squirrels. Uh, his name is Kasa Kofi Amom. Throw that one. And it's been contested by the attack of the Super Eagles. And they move. Number ten man for the Super Eagles, uh, Ahmed Musa, in his just move. And they move. Uh, I'm going to have a goal there. That was one loss too many. I, 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 I think the leg that man selected was wrong rather than using outside of the foot he's supposed to use inside of the foot and he would have gotten the, the simple technique the build-up was very very good but the finishing too bad that was one miss too many that would have been the first goal for the spikers but and and and, and yellow card. look at look at that build up again very very good and he had every opportunity to tuck the ball into the net but the choice of leg robbed him of that opportunity again Absolutely one big miss, too many there. And uh, with marks of a lot of inexperience from the attackers there. Well, it's still uh, goalless. And um, as we approach uh, the eight minutes of this encounter, the spike goes all the build again from the rear. Number 14 man for the Eagles, Ru Dubem, uh, Ruben Gabriel. Center circle, the initiator now move, the spike move. Susan Gabriel, 